Welcome to Toffee TV. We've got the brand new Everton shirt from Hummel for the 2020-21 season. Here it is in all its glory. Just unveiled today. Looks good. What are you? What, it is. Baz, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I really like it. I think it's uh, for me. It's the best home shirt we've had for a number of years. Um, obviously, it's it's. Like people, I've seen people say it's plain. Well, it will be because that's yeah. what you do with the, a, a blue kit. Yeah. We, I don't think we could get away with jazzing our kit up too much. Uh, but I think Hummel have done an excellent job with it. I really do. I think uh, I really like the chevrons on the shoulders. I think that mm. sets it apart really from other um, from other kits we've had. I think it's no. I really like it. I really like it. No, I think it's excellent, and as you can see there, you can see the uh, see the chevrons just there on the arm. It's a very traditional Hummel design. Design, mm -hmm. obviously, they have their chevrons on the side, um, but no, I think it's had really good reaction so far. You know, it's it's traditional. It's blue. There's nothing jazzy about it. Mm. Uh, people every year say, "Oh, you should do this and you should do that," but ultimately, if you started doing that and breaking tradition, people would have a problem. So. I think the more traditional, the better. Um, it's got a little bit of white piping on the arm. Um, it's got the chevrons. It's it's you know it's blue round the neck as well. Even though it's got this sort of flat collar that comes mm. down, it's it's blue. It's got a design on the front which is it's actually quite shiny, but you can't see it until you get quite close up. Yeah. The design pattern within within the kit as well. So um, that is apparently the soundbars, the Zcars inspired. There's a bit of technology behind this as well. Uh, we have to, we do have to mention that Everton is the first club in the Premier League to adopt Hummel's Zero H20 dry dye technology. This groundbreaking technology ensures there is zero water consumption, zero wastewater in the dyeing process, and a 50% reduction in energy consumption. This means that the 25 litres of fresh clean water normally required to dye just one single shirt is saved for every jersey produced. There you go. Um, so yeah, uh, and Everton are going to have that zero H20 uh, technology on all three kits this season. Um, I really, I've got to say, I do really like it. It's like I said to you before, like last season, it, that the other kit we're using now mm -hmm. grew on me when yeah. we first we were at the launch last season, and I think I actually said to the Umbro guy when he asked me what I thought, I said looks a bit like a training top because mm. that was my first impression. I don't get that impression with this kit. I mean, do you remember the one we did a few years ago? The Umbro one when Rooney came up, which yeah. literally was yeah. a training top than ever. It was a bad struggle. Thing. It was a struggle. It was trying difficult to, do to get enthusiastic to get, about that one. Yeah. Um, but I think this one I do really like. I think, it look, I think personally it looks classy. And I know that some people had, were worried with the Kazoo logo. Yeah, I even yeah. seen people yesterday saying, I can imagine the kit will look good and then you'll notice the Kazoo. Yeah. The Kazoo um, colour is red or orange or something yeah, but it's it orange, is isn't it? quite clearly white mm. uh, and so you know it works well across the kit and uh, i know people were asking about the badges i mean what, yeah. what do you make of the, well, the, the badges badge are the, the badges the logos are um on the shorts and on the top they're quite like rubberized rubbery not they're not like the but they're solid there's not really any flex too much flex in them so that the solid they're on the kit they've probably been made like that to make the shirt lighter i would imagine rather than the embroidery and mm. um, maybe the process of making them is easier as well i'm not 100 percent sure mm. but it's not like that material that we had this season on the on like the training gear which was just the like like the outline almost like a sticker yeah um on the kit this is like a toughened rubber mm. um Composite and it sets it sets out it's and it sets off mm, the kit off as the well kit, yeah. uh, and it's like that on the shorts as yeah. well so and we've um, got the shorts here yeah. haven't we these are what the the shorts are like for anyone interested very classic I said this before and very classic Denmark eighty six shorts these in the World Cup um, but they're absolutely you know what they're like a nice short as well yeah. they feel so they feel different to shorts if we were had. allowed on beaches they'd be wonderful <laughs> they would be wonderful. Um, there's the blue chevrons down the yeah. side, what it looks like on the side. The other side, when you're standing on the beach when we're allowed back there, that's what your Everton shorts will look like. But uh, no, they're, they're really nice, them. And obviously, we've got the socks here as well, mm -hmm. which, again, have the, the blue chevron on the white sock. 
And um, there's obviously um, there's blue shorts, blue home shorts, and blue home socks as well. Obviously, when we play at places like Manchester United, yeah. and we wear all blue, and obviously we can have different variations on them. But mm. now I think it's had really good um, universal praise. praise yeah. I think people, I think obviously when you're moving from <clears throat> we're moving from Umbro, which has been you know Everton's manufactures a few times in our history, yeah. and and people were. I guess people were comfortable with it mm. because of what it was. A lot of people obviously will always roll out, we want Nike and we want Adidas or whatever, but you know, Umbro was ours. And then when you're moving to an unknown brand in yeah. terms of working with Everton Football Club, not an unknown brand, Hummel have been around for years. Yeah. And obviously, Alan Ball wore yeah, Hummel boots all the way back in the 70s. There. There's a huge Everton link there, the white boots. So obviously, Everton moving to that, people were a little bit, oh, what's it going to be like? But I'm really really impressed like I say the uh, the chevrons the, uh, some people won't like them the white right mm. there I think they look really smart yeah. I really I do. do and obviously we've seen the training range as well mm. um, which is nice it's uh, there's a it's pink and navy and there's there's, there's a variation on both so mm. there's obviously pink shirts with navy accents and navy shirts with, with pink accents mm. um, I love the zip the, the, the navy zip the dark zip, yeah. uh, train and top. Oh. There's also Brilliant. a travel wear, so what you're, you'd see the players wearing when they, you know, go to away games, mm. and that's that's very much like this shirt. Actually, it's all blacked out. All mm. the Everton, all the Everton logos. The tracksuits have got white white chevrons on them. Um, as we said, the goalkeeping shirt is short sleeve. It's a short sleeve shirt mm -hmm. for the first time. And we know Jordan Pickford and a lot of goalkeepers like wearing short sleeve. So they've brought that in for the first Pickford time. Be, Pickford was involved in the Pickford design. Pickford was involved process, in the apparently. design as well with the, uh, the, the heartbeat. heartbeat. So. Um, dance there's... music um, inspired, apparently, the beat of dance music. Yeah. There is also going to be um, a training kit for the, uh, for the ladies as well. Mm. Uh, the, the women's travel range consists of um, travel jacket, pant, t-shirt, hoodie and polo in Bering Sea, a striking blue-grey, which contrasts against the iconic Hummel chevrons. So that's still to be seen. So there you go, the catering for the women's team as well and that's giving good, them though. bespoke items that, that obviously... If uh, the ladies want to go and buy them, and obviously the fifth will be there for them as well. Yeah, so all good, so. all good. There's, the more gear, the better. The more you know, the more more individual gear is better as well. Mm. Though the more that's tailored just to Everton is really important. Plenty I think. of plenty of stock being asked to reiterate that <laughs> there is plenty of stock available for everybody. Zips on shorts as well. Zips, Zips coming on shorts on a travel range that isn't out yet, but we're gonna that that has been. Um, put together so there will be Everton shorts with zips on that you can purchase in the travel range or the training range Brilliant. so that's coming so it's a it's a good start good I would start. say to Everton's partnership with Hummel. Good start good um, interaction as well with the Everton fans and the Hummel uh, social media accounts as well. They've been very good for five weeks obviously we signed a deal with them five weeks ago now mm. and they probably wanted it because they've had a lot of interaction I don't know whether any other club interacts as much, <laughs> any other club's fans interact as much with, with brands as what Everton do when the Evertonians, when they want to know something, but that is, they've worked well together. No, There you go, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Do you like the new uh, Everton home shirt? Do you like the new goalkeeping shirt? Do you like the new training range? Let us know your thoughts about it in the comments. Don't forget well. we have our Everton Direct link. I was going to say, if you, want to help, if you want to help us just a little bit, uh, with no extra expense to yourself, please go through our link and that will uh, help us earn a couple of pennies off you buying the shirt that you're going to buy anyway. So the link will be in the description. Um, there'll be ads on our website as well. If you go through those links, you can help us just earn a couple of pennies off every time you buy um, an Everton shirt or some training kit through our, the affiliate programme that we are on with uh, Everton Direct. So... Help us out. Buy a shirt if you're buying one already, and everyone everyone wins. Everyone wins. There you go. No extra cost. No you. extra no cost. Extra. You just it's just because we're pointing people towards that kit. We're helping. Mm. We're helping out selling the kit. There you go. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you later.